Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic Bakugan deck profile here. So we've got this box, of course, and this being a really special themed one. So it's deck profile number 77. You know, seven being my lucky number. Double sevens with this one. And it is the Simo deck. I, I had to do it. But yeah, dude. So fully Simoga with this one man so anybody who doesn't know when Simo won the first invitational honestly uh you know obviously had the uh, honor of being there totally totally amazing man like meeting like team APS and Leon Hart and Simo and seeing Illinois and just so many amazing people with it it's wild dude just just thinking about it even the fact that I was there at the first invitational you know um but when Simo won, he obviously got to name a Bakugan, which they put in season two, that being Simoga. And yeah, man, anybody who hasn't seen the design for it, it's really sick. It's got six arms, uh, the beard to represent uh, Simo and such. But yeah, just such a cool design. But I had to, I had to make a Simo deck. You already know, dude. So yeah, I got Simoga for all of them. Uh, Aqua Simoga, 405. Uh, flame fist and regular fist with it. So getting up to like max 650 and uh, and 8 with it. Uh, then we got another Simoga 603. Got a Helix and a Flame Fist with it. So getting up to honestly like 1200 zeroing out, but big time power with it. And it'll also help to make all of them break a thousand if they do land on that Helix. And then uh, 703 double fist with it. So yeah, as you could tell. Um, not the craziest cores with it, so I'm sure you guys are probably intrigued on how I did this, you know. I like making a way out of no way and such. And it's a little tricky using it, you know, having these three, uh, Simoga together. But I'm like, these three are the ones that work probably the best together. So, yeah, man, got the Helix here, plus 400, minus one, and one cost less for the back gear. Got minus five. So big time trap. Then we got plus 150 plus two. Uh, minus three for that fist. Plus two and two cost less for Baku gear with that one. And then minus five for uh, that flame fist. So big time traps with this. And then also one, two, well, a couple, two boost, uh, you know, uh, well, lower the cost of Baku gear cards and boost their power a bit so you can get more Baku gear. But uh, well, I'll get into the actual Bakugan before getting into the deck. So, Aqua Simoga right here. You can tell by the design and such. Uh, Pyrus Simoga. And Chaos Simoga, man. Just a super, super epic design. I definitely dig uh, Simoga for sure. Design-wise, definitely one of my favorite cores. Like, non-fusion cores from this season. So we got Aqua Splash, five cost, uh, plus 1,200 big time B power. Absorb, negate an action card, copy its effect, make your own selections for it. Uh, so turning your opponent's, you know, power against them. Deep dive, draw a card, and reroll. Uh, Aqua Play, plus 400, zero cost. I mean, you may imagine if that's two costs less. You get this for one cost, that'll be really nice. Um, Lava Lash, only could play before rolling, but you win. You get plus four hanging energy. Got Holy Flame in there, because you know the regular fist had to. That's why there's a big focus on kind of the uh, regular fists there. But plus 300, uh, holding a fist, plus 600. Chaos Blessing, plus 4, and reroll. Uh, Scarf Strike, 2 cost, plus 500. Aqua Plate, got another one. Got Deep Freeze, uh, stopping the shield or helix. Shargo Ronin, open a Bakugan, plus 100. Bone Defense, plus 700, 3 cost. Solitude plus a thousand if you have only one open Bakugan. Got another Shargo there. Got Strata. Uh, draw an additional card each turn. Aqua Plate uh, plus 400, you know, three cost. Cabo Clones plus two. You can reroll one cost. Another Holy Flame. Got Tide. So big time flow effect with this. If you can tell, really low cost cards with this. So it's meant to be where you can put out a bunch of cards the later it gets on with the bra. So they're all really low cost cards. Uh, Tides plus 200 and the flow effect, obviously really good in this case. Uh, Hail Bracer, six cost plus a thousand. Dark Waters plus 200 and reroll. Uh, Confuse, uh, Flame Fist, and Helix Stop, or Magic Shield, not Helix, but. Uh, Darkest or Aqua Stop with Halt Unknown. Burrowing Blow plus 1200. Uh, got another Tides there. Got Energy Draw 
plus 500 to cost. Rocket Bracers, when you play it, make a Pirate Attack for one. Four costs with it. Deep Dive, draw a card and reroll. Quite a few rerolls with this. Lava Flow. Uh, one hanging energy, another energy draw. Got Wave Slash, plus 300. Flow for plus 1,000. Flame Wave, plus 600, 3 cost. Pyros Energizer can be attached to the second Baku Gear. 6 cost, plus 500, plus 5. Uh, energy Vortex, attach a fist from the field to an open Bakugan. 3 cost, 300, 0. Think again, draw a card, flow, to draw two, two cards instead. Getting some more ammo in your hand. Hail Scorch, plus 4 damage. One cost, Fang Strike, stop Ireless, make a Pirate's Attack for four, Constrictor, Fist, and Helix stopped, another Dark Waters, and another Tides, man. So as you can tell, very low-cost cards with this. The main thing is the flow effect, so very low-cost cards, and then when it gets later on in the Brawl, card after card after card you could play, and the flow effect with that, you can get some big-time B-Power in there. All of them, honestly, have some pretty good damage with them, all the Simogas do. And landing on a regular fist, I mean, getting two extra damage. So, uh, you can get up to like seven damage, five damage, five damage. All having some pretty good damage with them. And mainly just getting the uh, B power in there. But having the low cost cards, that flow effect and such, really gets that ramped up. And then also getting some Baku gear in there because you got a couple of Baku gear cost reduction cards in there. So, getting those Baku gear on the Bakugan as well, helping out big time with their B power and also adding some damage as well. So, <clears throat> yeah. Overall, I think a really, really fun deck. And like I said, just Samoga not being the absolute craziest Bakugan. I mean, like the Ventus one, I think, uh, power-wise, is probably the strongest Samoga uh, stock-wise. But, you know, you make them work. Like, they can work together for sure. And this shows it, hands down, like, really low-cost cards and just cranking out a bunch of them. But... Yeah, dude, that is going to do it for this epic Bakugan deck profile number 77, the Simo deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If Simo actually watches this video, I'd flip out. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, stay awesome and Bakugan Brawl. I'm up out of here.